Hey, this is Dr. Raleigh Duncan. I'm founder of Clearlight Sauna. And if you're looking to be in better health and learn more about biohacking, then you should be listening to the Hack Life podcast with my good friend, Joel Evans. Hey, what's up? Joel Evan here, host of the Hack Life podcast and weight loss coach for busy men. I'm excited to tell you I just dropped an eight-week program dedicated to motivated and busy men who want to lose weight. Let's face it, guys. When you lose weight, you feel more confident and you have higher self-esteem and you go out and you crush the world. You crush your goals and you start living your higher purpose. So if you're interested, DM me at Joel Evan Coaching or email me below, info at joelevancoaching.com. All right, I'm here with Dr. Raleigh Duncan, the founder and owner of Clearlight Saunas. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Joel. Happy to be here. Hey, um, you know, everybody knows that you have like the premier, the best saunas out there in the industry. But before we dig into that, I thought it'd just be cool to, I'm, I'm curious, like how, how did you realize like, this is what I want to make my life's mission, saunas. Like when did that day occur for you? So it was really, it was really a process. Uh, as we were talking before, I was in the uh, machine tool sale. I was in manufacturing for about 20 years and I had an existential crisis. I was afraid I would die before really giving back to the world. And that led me to California to enroll in chiropractic school. And then I bought one of these saunas for my home because I uh, had just learned how to be a massage therapist. I had gotten licensed. And, um, so when I started putting people in there I, and saw the changes that happened to them and the infrared and the infrared, nobody knew about infrared. This was back in the 90s. Uh, I saw how it could impact people. And then I saw there was a business here also as well. Wow. So that, that's really, so there was just that moment. And then I became a distributor. There was only one manufacturer of infrared saunas. They were down in Southern California. They'd been doing it for years. And then at some point I wanted to start, and then I graduated from chiropractic college and I wanted to take my knowledge of manufacturing, my knowledge of healing the human body and start designing my own saunas. And that was when Clearlight was born. But that's, we've been at it for a while now, 15 plus, 25 years in the business, but making our own saunas for, I don't know, 17 years, something like that. Yeah. Wow. What what made you, I mean, at early on, like you said, in the 90s, nobody knew about infrared. And I would say some right. people s still probably, they kind of have oh, a lot of understanding. Oh, so many people, yeah, have no idea. Yeah, so uh, well, how, did, how did you discover, what, how did you discover like, the powers <laughs> of infrared? Like, hey, there's so, something to this. Well, so it was really by getting one, but the, how I got one was um, just chance because this was kind of before the internet had taken off, really. It was just starting and uh, we were still on dial up on AOL, you know, and uh, yeah, yeah. so I saw in a magazine in the doctor's office, I don't even remember what doctor might have been a dentist and that I was visiting and they had an ad in there for infrared sauna. And uh, I thought this is really going to help my my practice, which was a massage practice. Yeah. Me. And I had a, I brought my family out here from Ohio, two girls, two teenagers and uh, and so I had to make some money. So uh, anyway, <laughs> that's how it all started. I just, you know, I always liked saunas, I, the Finnish type saunas. And um, so infrared made sense to me, you know, that you're heating the body directly without having to heat up all the air. Just makes sense. Yeah. And so that's like kind of the big difference, right? Everyone's used to that traditional like dry sauna or the Finnish sa mm -hmm. sauna. And the big difference is, and maybe you could explain better, but that the the finished type of side of those dry saunas, they're just heating up the air. Whereas the right. infrared is actually sending waves, wavelengths, infrared yep. wavelengths to penetrate and heat up your body internally. Right. Is that the big. Yeah, that's it. So in the finished sauna, you have a box of hot rocks that heats the air to 200 degrees. Infrared saunas will have heaters, hopefully all around you. Uh, many don't, but the wavelength of the infrared is very safe. We give off infrared from our bodies. So a lot of the, most of the way, a lot of the wavelength is coming in the same wavelength that we're giving out, we're putting into the body and that helps us to detox. And so there's a lot of science in there, but the air temperature stays comfortable to breathe and you're getting this therapeutic, deep 
infrared. Now, as a chiropractor, chiropractors and physical therapists, doctors use infrared to make muscles, uh, you know, relax, reduce pain, stuff like that. Yeah, and is there anything unique that Clearlight does different? I mean, I know you guys have a, I believe it's like a true spectrum where you use various mm-hmm. spectrums. You don't just use one yes. type of light. What, what uh, can you talk about that? Sure. Uh, well, the difference is I can just, uh, let me start there because one of the things that really put us on the map was the the original heaters were like industrial heaters that were in the industries used to dry paint and everything. And then I was started working and understanding the different wavelengths and, and that putting that same wavelength back in your body helps the cells, the water in the body to actually vibrate. And that helps the toxins to cleave off and to be eliminated. So I wanted to have a large percentage of that wavelength and I needed a flat panel type heater. And I saw one out of uh, Japan. There weren't any here, but it had high EMF. So it was really taking that knowledge that I was learning and had learned and healing the body and trying to apply that. So these big panel heaters with the EMF, we wanted to use them because they had really good wavelengths, but they had high EMF. It took us three years, Joel, to figure out how to take the EMF out of it. And we were the first ones in the industry. And uh, that was really, we just stepped up to that and it costs more, but I'm, I'm not that interested in that. I'm interested in healing the body because this is my practice. So that, you, you know, there, so that's, yeah. Oh, no, it's fascinating. Um, you know, there's so many like different saunas out there, right? You've got like, I've seen them now where they have, you know, we see like the juve mm. kind of like the red light panels, but mm. people are using that in the saunas. Then you've got the infrared. Yeah. I've seen like um, there's that other company. They use like just the red light bulbs. Um, right, right. Is, is there any, you know, do you is, do you like one or the other? I mean, obviously you guys have the ones you guys are using, but or well, do you see any disadvantage of using the other ones? Well, what we've tried to do is um, – so there – to, just to break it down, there's far infrared. That's what we give off. There's a, in, within a certain wavelength. There's mid infrared, that's actually uh, a little shorter wavelength, and then there's near infrared. And for many many years, we just had far, and then we started seeing the advantages to putting these other wavelengths. Each one does something else. Like the near infrared penetrates really deeply, and then you have your LEDs uh, uh, like the Juve, and we actually make uh, our own red light, which we think is just fantastic and we'll hang it on the door of our sauna so when you're in there uh you're getting all that so my Uh. whole concept was that once i've got you in the sauna what else can i do to help you to heal so we've got the red light and near infrared uh, uh therapy that we can put on the door and that does the photobiomodulation that i'm sure you're familiar with we right. just came in, coming out with a halo unit uh, that we worked on for a year to put uh, salt into the sauna. We have vibration. You know, all these things are modalities that are going to help you heal. And as long as you're sitting in there, I mean, it, this is easy. Most things yeah. are like, here, eat this. It tastes horrible. Work out till you, <laughs> you're just aching. You know, this is, just go in. You want to listen to a book on tape or some nice music, relax. And while you're in there, we're going to add all these things to really heal you, to take that 20 minutes, 30 minutes, hopefully every day, hopefully at least three times a week and uh, make it count for something. Yeah. You know, and like you said, I mean, speaking about like working out, I mean, I remember a while back there was a Finnish study on just the dry saunas Mm -hmm. and they showed so much evidence just showing, I think, and I want to say that they were doing it like you would know three times a week in the sauna and their yeah. cardiovascular system improved like so much. It was almost like doing workouts. Can you talk about uh, just a little bit about that? Sure. Sure. It was a great study and it, it was a study that went on for 20 years and had over 2,500 people in it. You know, a lot of studies are 10 people over six weeks. This was over 20 years. And what they showed is, if I can remember the percentage, it was 52% Less chance of sudden cardiac death if you would use your sauna, I think it was four times a week. So they even compared people that just used it once a week, twice a week, three. And you only had to use it for 20 minutes. Yeah. And that was outstanding. So when I go in my sauna, I was in mine today, I'll get my heart rate up to a working heart rate. 
you know, just sitting in the sauna. Yeah. So the, the physiology is there. The other thing about that study was they showed that it was like 42 percent um, improvement of or better chance by 42 percent of all cause mortality to not die from everything. So that's cancer. That's, you know, diabetes, all these different things that people die from. So it's just huge. It's like, get in the sauna. That's all you, <laughs> you know, I, I, and so it's very validating for me to see that, see that study. And, uh, yeah. After yeah, all these was, years. Of, yeah. No, I always tell an, anybody, <laughs> uh, you know, I work with a lot of weight loss clients and I always say like, that's probably honestly the most bang for your buck biohack like if you had to get one i think it'd probably be a, there's so many to get but if you had to pick one i would get that and like just look at that study alone i mean like you just said yeah. i mean yeah the, the weight loss is interesting because a lot of weight loss is tied into toxicity uh the obesogens if if you uh can't get rid of the toxins in your body then you can't lose the weight many times and then we're going to boost your metabolism and things like that, get your blood going, yeah, uh, and reduce stress. Reducing stress is another big one, because if you're in yeah. that fight or flight, if you're in the sympathetic mode, it's really hard to lose weight. Most of us are, are in that mode all the time. So. And so those healing infrared uh, waves can actually put you in a more parasympathetic state, yeah? Oh, yeah. So what happens physiologically when the infrared comes in, you're going to get a vasodilation of your blood vessels. So the blood vessels are going to expand. And it's an interesting thing that happens because you're getting stressed out, just like in hormesis, you know, but and you're making HSPs. But at the same time, your body is learning how to relax and your blood is flowing through your body, bringing oxygenated blood, you know, healing, taking toxins out. All these things are happening all at once while you're getting a stress reduction. So I call it a passive aerobic workout. Yeah. I keep telling my wife, honey, I don't need to work out. I'm just, <laughs> you know, I go in the sun. I mean, I, I walk every day or try to at least five times a week. Yeah, yeah the, the sauna is all in one, right? Cardiovascular, you're going to lose weight and shed toxins. I mean, and all you got to do is just... That's a lot of bang for your buck. Uh, we're going to boost the immune system, you know? That's the the whole thing. Hippocrates saying, give me a fever, I'll heat, uh, I'll cure any disease, heal any disease. And so, yeah, we're mobilizing the immune system, all this stuff. It's really interesting. It, I, I'm I'm more stoked about it now than I was even in the beginning. I was pretty uh, impressed in the beginning. So yeah. Now, why is that? Is that just because you're seeing all these amazing results and testimonials or? Well, I think in the beginning, it was like, uh, uh, you know, talking in the wind. I, I literally, uh, this was before the internet and I'd go to a home and garden show. I'd set up a couple saunas. People would walk by. It might be, I remember being in Sacramento at the state fair, 21 days. And, it's yeah. like 90 degrees in there. People walking by and go, you don't need one of those. It's hot already. And, you know, that looks, is that an outhouse? You know, stuff like that. So, <laughs> so it's been a long road, but we're mostly, um, you know, with the advent of the internet has allowed us to have a global reach. So we ship all over the world. And it's, uh, yeah. it, it's very satisfying. It's very validating after all this time. Yeah. I wanted to ask you for working out. Is there any, do you know if there, is there anything um, in, in terms of research that you should do sauna pre-workout or post-workout? Is there any benefit or do, disadvantages? It's actually both, you know, and people choose what works for them. You know, that, you know how people are. We, we figure yeah. out what we like and then we do it. And the, and the main thing is just whatever you pick, just do it. So you better like it. So if you go in the sauna, you can even go in with the door open and get that infrared and that's going to relax your muscles and it's going to your joints so that you're going to have less of a chance of injury. You're going to, it's sort of a pre-stretch stretch before exercise. And then right. after exercise, you can do what I call a warm down. And that's going to help to get the lactic acid out of your muscles, things like that. So it's uh, either and or. And then there's just using the sauna itself for all the benefits that we talked about. But we have many people, uh, you know, Ben 
Ben Greenfield and people like that that used yeah. just the heck out of their songs. So very fortunate. What about um, heat shock proteins? I hear this being talked about a lot, and that yeah. that the sauna and that's one of the I think one of the immune benefits, right? Is that they increases heat shock proteins? Yeah, yeah, and and so that whole hormesis that produces the heat shock proteins is is sort of the basis of anything that's harmful to you will, if you take a little of it, will help you. So that's the Wim Hof is the same thing with the ice bath. So these heat shock proteins are so cool. Um, they go around and when our proteins start to unravel, they literally unfold. And the heat shock proteins will go in and refold proteins. And then the, they will take these other proteins and I call them zombie proteins. They're senescent. They're not dead, but they're, they're kind of half dead and they're putting out bad cytokines and the heat shock proteins will come in and, and usher them out. And once you go in a sauna or you have an event that causes these heat shock proteins to be produced in your body, they last for like a week. So wow. it, 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 it's all to the good. It's all to the good. Cause you, so, you, you know, know you want cellular health, you know that it's it. Yeah. So I was going to ask you too. I had a I wanted to ask you about uh, sauna use and the fighting off of viruses, because obviously you know we've been in this pandemic for like the last year, and so mm -hmm. I was curious if there was any case studies or an anecdotal evidence of uh, fighting off viruses or maybe even this virus, which I won't even say the name. But um, if you've seen anything like that, and it, it sounds like the heat shock proteins would be a, a big contributor to. To that folding of the proteins and would be a huge contributor to fighting off these viruses. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's definitely going to boost your immune system. And, and there have been studies that have shown, you know, good effect and X number of people take a sauna, X number of people don't take a sauna. And you know, what's the difference? And uh, we're very careful about making, not making claims, of course. And right. so everything we do, we talk about it in terms of your body has everything it needs to be healthy and well. And we're going to we're going to help the body to accomplish that goal. And then then we're not getting into treating anything. I don't treat anything. We just are there. It's that curing versus healing aspect. Boosting right. the body's own natural uh healing attributes. So, that's a good place to be. Yeah, I love that. I, I always say the same thing. The, the body knows how to heal itself. Once it gets the right yeah. input, it knows what to do. It just needs to. It just needs that right input, right? It, that's it, and and that's really sort of the um, the holy grail of biohacking. I think is we're all working with the body. You know, you have to because that's the only that's the only vehicle that's going to make any change. We are that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you mentioned. Um, toxicity being a huge issue. And I was mm -hmm. just curious, do you think that there's just some things that no matter how much vitamin C, glutathione, charcoal, chlorella, no matter how much stuff mm -hmm. you take to use binders to pull that out of the body, is there just some things that the body just can't do on its own? Like you need a sauna to, to detox from certain things? In yeah. And opinion? even, it, I don't know that you need a sauna and that's the only thing way to do it. There are many different ways to do it. And even the saunas, as far as uh, if you do sweat analysis, there's a great uh, researcher uh, up in Canada, Crinian, and um, he's done a lot of research uh, on BUS, uh, blood, urine, sweat, you know, of what's coming out and testing it in the sauna. And um, so there are some things that they don't find in sweat, some toxins, but many are, are really good. A lot of the heavy metals will come out and the phthalates and different things. So it's all, I, I look at detoxification as a whole approach. So use a sauna, eat well. You can use the binders like a char charcoal or a bentonite. You can do a nitus, niacin protocol, all this stuff. And it's... Um, it, it's all encompassing, you know, it's yeah. not us. Nothing's a silver bullet. It's not just I don't one look thing. At, yeah. Yeah. It, it's all that, but the sauna can be very, very effective. And you probably saw that environmental working group study of, uh, uh, newborns that there was over 200, the average 200, uh, toxins found in fetal tissue, you know, in the umbilical cord. I mean, that's just so sad. 
you're not yeah. even born yet and you're already toxic. I yeah. mean, and that was the average. So everybody's yeah, got a toxic burden. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, yeah. I was just, be, you know, just earlier today, I was interviewing Dr. Mindy Pels and, um, She's done some. She, we were just talking about that study, and it's and it's interesting because my four year old, I had a heavy metal test ran on him, mm. uh, hair tissue mineral analysis, and he had high amounts of lead, and he's four years old. Really? And oh, they that's said, sad. Yeah, and they said, you know, I, my health coach said, Joel, what do you, what do you, you know, does he play with lead toys? I mean, I'm living <laughs> in a house in San Francisco at the time, and I mean, maybe they use lead paint, but I mean that. I don't know. I mean, that's probably like the, mm. the last time they used lead paint was in the 70s, So, I think. So this house was somewhat newer. So it was really surprising. And then I kind of thought about, you know, that's, that study like you just mentioned, you know, like the kid's mm -hmm. already born into this environment with a heavy toxic burden. And you wouldn't even realize it unless you got the data. Yeah. Uh, and most people are oblivious to that, you know. So it's, it's, it's sad uh, because I think we have a birthright. You know, we shouldn't have this put upon us. So it's uh, maybe that will become a cause celeb at some point, you know, of uh, to to push the ecological, you know, cleaning up of the whole world and what we are doing still is so much work needs to be done. And the, yeah. the other part is that it's one thing to have have one chemical and, and find one chemical. Maybe if you have two chemicals, you could say, well, this is happening in the body because the two are reacting. But if you have 200 chemicals, there's no way you can even tell how those chemicals are interacting with each other in the body and what they're doing to you and yeah. mimicking hormones, you know, and, and all this other stuff. It's scary. So. Yeah. Agreed. Hey, you mentioned, um, which we just talked about binders and supplements. I wanted to ask you, you know, are there any things that you do to hack your sauna experience? Do you, do you ever do niacine protocols or do you throw a little charcoal before bentonite clay to kind of enhance the detox effect or is there any even evidence I, of that? Yeah, I take niacin, uh, every day just as a, a matter of course. And, uh, there's, there's a lot of reasons for that. And the, and then I take Cerlabine, which is an NAD plus, uh, you know, those two work synergistically together. Um, that's about all I do as, as far as getting in the sauna. Uh, I've been doing it for 25 years. I go in the sauna and within a couple of minutes, I'm just, I'm just like dripping. So, uh, but yeah, I, I invite everybody to figure out their own routine and what feels right for them, you know? Yeah. There is some, there's some good evidence. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong about the niacine protocols for people that don't know is like you're taking niacine to like increase like that blood surge, um, yeah. to kind of, uh, excel, accelerate, I, I would say like yes. toxins to come out of the, 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 the skin and the body. Is that right? Exactly. And, and a lot of it was proven out of the post nine 11, the first responders, they, um, mm. a lot of them did, uh, really heavy uh, sauna, not uh, not infrared, but regular saunas with the niacin protocols. And I've seen pictures of it, uh, uh, just stuff coming out of people's, you know, onto towels, like orange stuff. And yeah. it's just, it's really spooky. So I, I know it works. So it's, uh, everybody should adopt something. Yeah. I'm curious, you know, you've been, like you said, you've been doing this for 25 years. Is there any testimonial or I, I'm sure you get these daily, but is there any, any one that like stood out to you that's just memorable or you're like, wow, I can't believe, you know, this person who had MS or something where they just, all they instituted was there, a sauna protocol and what, you know. Yeah, and we, we get testimonials all the time. And, and, and like I was saying, it's so rewarding. That just is really, that's, that makes it all worthwhile, no matter what we're, we have to go through in a day. But there was one that stood out, and uh, it was uh, Connie and Ray B. I'll just, their last name is, started with a B. And they lived in South Bay. And uh, Ray had seen our sauna at a home and garden show, I guess, and called me up. And his wife had fibromyalgia really, really, really bad. She'd been in the publishing business and she couldn't work. She did a little work from home. She used to hike in the hills uh, down there in the South Bay and she couldn't do that anymore. And she was just, and he loved her so much, I could tell. And he really felt that this would help her. And I didn't know at that time. It was so early on. I, I hardly knew about fibromyalgia. We'd learned about it in school. So 
at that point, I didn't want to sell a sauna to him because I didn't know if it was going to work. So I, as a new company, we didn't have a lot of money. And I said, Ray, let me bring a sauna down to you. I'll set it up and, and, and you and uh, Connie can use it. And, uh, and then, you know, in a month or two, let me know if it works out and you want to keep it. Yeah, well, I'll, you know, we'll sell you a sauna. And we did that. And he called back in like, I think it was a couple of weeks. And he was so happy with the changes because she wasn't sleeping well. And she told me, wow. Connie told me that every hair on her head hurt. And so it really it just changed her whole life and, and brought brought everything back to where she was, could go back to work. Uh, not full time, but little by little. And she was hiking in the hills again. And it just, and he was so happy. And I went, wow, I thought there was something here. But now I see that's when the bigger picture started to evolve. And I'll always remember that. Wow. That's a great story. Yeah. You're going to be, uh, you know, you're going to be speaking at the uh, Biohacking Congress event here in October in uh, Miami, October 16th to 17th. I'm curious. I mean, Clearly, I'm. I'm assuming you're going to talk something about saunas, but is there any? What are you going to? What are you going to be talking about specifically? Anything uh, specific that you can kind of hint to the audience? You know, I think with a group like that, uh, a lot of people are savvy. Uh, uh, I've heard about inter- infrared, but I, I'll probably go through just the, you know the basics of what it does, and and what can you, you can expect, and 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 some of the studies that have come out, and, and basically the same things we talk about in a more together uh protocol then i'd like to i'll probably touch on i think i've only got 40 minutes um on some of the new products that we brought out the red light uh, tower and the halo therapy unit and uh, how to that's the ultimate hack because it really in any type of biohacking it comes down to how much time do you have what are your resources you can't you can only change your whole life so much so this concept of sauna is sort of central to health and well-being by and then by adding all this on your you're just upping upping what you're getting out of that 20 minutes every day yeah it's huge you're just amplifying that you know like you said people are we're busy creatures here in the united states for sure and we're yeah. we're on the go a lot and so if we can maximize that 20 minutes and do three different things then it's even better it, it is, and, and we relate to that. So in, in the rest of the world, many cultures have sauna cultures. Like in Germany, 25% of all the the homes have a sauna. Wow. I think about that. Yeah, and we're not even close to that. So my vision, I would like to, uh, it won't happen before I'm out of here, but set up something in this company and what we're doing. I would like to just have everybody in the world be, at least have access to saunas or you know, we have some design of saunas that are more portable and, and uh, anybody could put, even if they're, you know, have six roommates and live in a small place. So, because again, it goes back to that earlier statement of the, everybody has a right to live without toxins in their body. It's, it's a birthright. It yeah. should be, you know, to come into the, at least be in the world without having the burden of toxicity and all the, the health problems that come along with that. It ain't right. You know, that's how yeah. I look at it. You, you guys, you know, you guys, your craftsmanship is beautiful. You guys have these very beautiful, oh, you. you know, wood uh, saunas and, uh, you know, with the chromotherapy and like you said, the red light and, and the mm-hmm. music and all this beautiful stuff. But I'm curious, like you said, do you guys, are you looking at making ever like individual? I, I've seen some companies where like Therasage and other companies where they'll make right. like the tent. Um, do you, any interest of doing that or no, kind of not, not really, um, nothing in, in that realm. Um, just trying to work with, uh, different materials, uh, o- over the time. And, and, uh, for me, what's important though, and this is one of the important principles that I found is that for infrared sauna therapy to really work, I want to surround the entire body with the heaters behind me to the right to the left behind the legs you even have heaters in the under the floor you can't see them and when you do that and that infrared wavelength comes in you get what i call a global vasodilation mm. 
Mm. That And that's where you get that effect of the passive aerobic. So many companies don't understand because they didn't, they're not designing their saunas from a standpoint of how can we heal the body. They're designing the sauna, how can we put the least amount in here <laughs> so we can make the most amount of money? Now, I'm not saying they're evil. It's just a different orientation. Well, I right. put somebody in there so... Uh, so any design I have is going to have to surround you with these heaters to get the maximum. It's going to have to have heaters that are low EMF and low EF. We also do that electrical field. So it's two different types of EMF. And and give you those wavelengths to heal you and detoxify you. So, so that sets us apart so far from anybody else. A lot of, a lot of saunas don't even have heaters in the front. So oh, wow. I have a lot of adipose tissue in my front more than my back, <laughs> yeah. right? And so I, I need the wavelengths. I got to have them. You have to have them in the front too. And we always keep the heaters below the head. So if you see a sauna where the heaters are going way up, uh, it really, infrared doesn't heat the air that well. So you're just, you're not, and you don't want to heat the head. So you're just wasting money, you know, put those heaters around you where it'll do some good. I'm, I so love anyway, that you sorry, said that. Not, yeah, no, I love. Yeah. you know, because I wanted to ask, you know, what makes you know? Again, a lot of people that are listening to this will know what Clearlight who they are, but for those that don't, you know, what makes you guys unique? And I think you just you know hit the nail on the head right there. Yeah. It's just really your attention to detail too, you know, and you're willing to go the extra step. Well, and I really, I expensive stuff in it. Yeah, I just want to heal the body. That's 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 my charge. You know, it's sort of every time I send a sauna out, I feel like uh, it's almost like having a little surprise party. I want people to get the sauna and get in and go, oh, my gosh, you know, I knew this was good, but I didn't think it would have this, this, this. And then I can actually make a difference. So I go back to that existential crisis I had in my 40s mm. and I really want to do some good. If you're not doing some good here on the planet, then you're just taking up space. So, <laughs> Love know. that, brother. Thank you for that. That's so great. Um, any exciting projects that you're working on? Well, we're working on a lot of uh, exciting stuff. We, we, these go through cycles. Uh, so we just came out with the red light therapy, just came out with the, yeah, uh, I saw that. the halo. So, um, I'm working a lot on designs now. Um, that's one of my main focuses design for what a sauna is going to look like five years from now and different ways that we can incorporate these into everyday living. So that's that's really that bigger picture, that bigger goal. That's what I spend a lot of time. Uh, we've been so busy. Uh, we've been growing at such a rate. That itself has kept us really busy. Um, just trying to meet demand. Uh, yeah. And all that. Yeah. Before uh, before we jump into the lightning round of questions. Um, yeah. Is, is there anything that I that I didn't ask you that you wish I had? Um, let me think. Nothing I can think of. Uh, I think you you did a good job <laughs> getting right. to the important stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's do this then. Sure. If if the old you could see the new you, what would the new you say? Hmm. Um, I would say it's going to be okay. Um, stick to your inner self. That that joy for no reason and and hold to your principles and everything will be okay i love that yeah what um what are some choices that you think you made that made you who you are today <clears throat> wow <clears throat> um so i'm uh i quit drinking at the age uh, 24 in, in 1978 and uh, I, I'm an alcoholic. I had it really bad and I had to go seek help. And I did. And I haven't had a drink or a joint or a mushroom or a magic mushroom or a hit of LSD for that time. And that, um, that really made me who I am today to have to face myself in that and, um, and maintain that and, and to find as equanimity in myself and in my world and, and with the people around me. So that was, I thought my life was over. I thought, oh man, you blew it. Uh, wow. All my friends were going, you know, getting out of college and I was just sleeping in doorways. So, um, yeah, 
<laughs> That's huge. I, I'm curious, you know, just to, on that note, how, you know, you see people in, that are, you know, battling addiction. It's mm-hmm. so difficult for them to just quit cold turkey or, I yeah. mean, let's face it, not everybody – most people won't. I mean, it's just, that's why it's, it's yeah. an addiction. It's really uh, for you. Tough. For you, was there anything that like, was it, was it just that your mindset was like, I've got to, I'm just going to, I'm going to get over this and that's it. Or no, was it, it wasn't, process? it was no, it's it, it, in, in, uh, there's a, there's a phrase they talk about uh, pitiful and incomprehensible demoralization or hitting a bottom. And there was a distinct morning that, um, I'd been trying to get sober back and forth and it wasn't working. And I remember one morning I looked at myself in the mirror and I was just disgusted at what looked back at me. And I would, I, I just desired if there was anything I could do to not be that guy that was looking back at me, I was willing to do it. And that started the process. Wow. In that's there. Amazing. Yeah. And now uh, I like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do too. <laughs> Um, you know, you're obviously a force to be reckoned with in the health world. You know, who inspires you? I'm curious. Is there anybody in the health and wellness world or maybe just somebody in general who just inspires you to keep pushing and keep doing what you're doing? There, there's a lot of, there's a lot of inspiration out there. Um, I think it, it comes down to people that, that, like I said before, that, that want to make a difference that inspires me. Uh, Dr. Rhonda Patrick inspires me. I, I just, she's so great. She has such good information. Um, and, uh, I just uh, dig the heck out of her. So, yeah, she's one of the first ones that exposed actually me to that finished, uh, sauna study. She did a lot of research and oh, yeah. about it on her blog and podcast. So yeah. Yeah. Um, but there's uh, it, just so many people. Yeah. 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 And she's local as well in the Bay area. Yeah, she is. She started the uh, biohacking group there in San Francisco. I, did you oh, ever did go she? to that one? No, At the no, WeWork? I, I went down there one time. Oh, no. I haven't been to that one. Okay. I'll have to check it out. A- any, I'm a big reader. Any any books that you'd recommend or is there like you know one to three that like just jump off at you that like really had an impact on your life? Um, I'm always reading something. Uh, about aging or, you know, hacking or this and that. But the one book that changed my life was really, it's a very simple book. It was uh, Your Erroneous Zones by uh. Wayne Dyer. And I was a salesman driving around in uh, northern in Kentucky and West Virginia and uh, selling machinery and manufacturing. And, and uh, that was before cell phones. You'd have to have a lot of uh, uh, quarters, you know. <laughs> and to hit the payphone, and I, I actually, uh, I, I listened to that on cassette in my car, and it basically challenged me. Wayne Dyer challenged me and said, "Is your life not working the way you want it? Well, then you're the guy that has to change it." Now that seems simple, but he did that in a way that I got it. That I went, "Yeah, I can't sit around and bitch about this and bitch about that. I've got to change my life," and that really started me. And uh, in in more positive thinking and more taking power and agency over the things that I do, and that put me in a, a pathway. And I was al- already sober then, yeah. But uh, it it changed my life. I'll forever be grateful for him. And he's gone now, but uh, yeah. His uh, daughters just wrote a book that I just got. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I haven't started it yet. But yeah, Wayne. I do Dyer. a lot of. Yeah, Wayne Dyer. He's a legend. I, I, I love love him, man. Um, yeah. And I could totally relate to you because, you know, I have a background in, in sales and I would go uh, for – maybe you know, but like Cutco Knives. I started out selling this. Oh, yeah. Oh, I work for Scott and Fetzer. I sold Kirby vacuums <laughs> door to door. That's yeah. the same company. Right. Yeah. And people don't <laughs> realize, but like salesmen, like – you have to have such a powerful mindset because you get beat up all the time. People tell you no all the time, and you're just like, I'm going to quit. This job sucks. Oh, and yeah. You really have to, like, like you said, you're, I was always listening to Jim Rohn and Tony Robbins. Yeah. And I, di- I didn't find out about Wayne Dyer till later in my life. And um, 
man, he's just so amazing. And like, it's, it's crazy for me to hear like the things that Tony Robbins says now I'm like, Oh, Wayne Dyer was saying that a long time ago. So it's just interesting. Yeah, And, and Tony, Tony, I really credit that um, I wouldn't have a company without Tony Robbins. Cause I did a, one of his cassette, it was on cassette days. So he kind of dates me on, uh, uh, how to be a no limit person. And I changed yeah. it around and it was when the company was really small. And I, I was so depressed because it was such a big push to get things going. And then he, that whole series just changed me around and I wouldn't have a company now without him. Wow. So, and, and then Ogmandino, I remember reading, uh, greatest salesman on the road when I was a commission salesman in a 68 Buick trying to sell, you know, That's machinery, so cool, yeah. uh, you know? Yeah. And you, 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 it's amazing when I look back and you make a decision at that point, to stick your neck out and to go into that uncomfortable zone and how that changes your whole life. Yeah. That, that one day, that one decision. Wow. Powerful. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like all growth comes in that uncomfortability zone for sure. Right. Yeah. See Wim, Wim Hof was right. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, any, um, I, I feel like the no-brainer answer is going to be sauna, but I'm just curious, are there any other rituals or practices that you do or biohacks that you do on a regular basis? Oh, yeah. So my morning, uh, I will, uh, I, I've been doing Wim Hof now. I keep mentioning it for, um, I don't know, greater part of this year. And um, so I'll, I'll do my breathing. I'll, uh, I'll get in an ice bath. I will do my sauna. I'll do some uh, meditation. And then I don't know if do you remember the chi machine the thing you put your yeah. legs on. And it, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah I I've do. got one. I've got one of those on. Uh, we were making an amethyst mat for a while and uh, I lay down. And so I have a, I have a whole routine. I do the five rights every day and then I try to walk. I get my 10,000 steps. So that's my routine that keeps me. Uh, keeps that's me beautiful. Going. What are the five rights? Sorry. Oh, the five rights are Tibetan uh, rights. Uh, uh, they're called the five Tibetan rights of rejuvenation. It's a very yeah. simple series. It starts, first one is spinning, and then you, uh, it's another one. It's sort of yoga-ish poses. Um, yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a book on it. There's a bunch of, or you can just look it up online. And I do that every day. You build up to 21 uh, of each of the five series and uh it it, it kind of covers all the bases very cool yeah a couple more questions and we'll wrap it up uh, sure you know 2020 was a crazy year i saw a lot of people you know just get crushed honestly i mean and and they retracted and then i saw a lot of yes. people thrive and i'm so I'm curious mm -hmm. i want to reframe 2020 for you 2020 was the greatest gift because dot, dot, dot. Because I slowed down. I was doing a lot of traveling before. I was always on planes, always going somewhere and, and uh, never really got caught up on my sleep even, you know, and jet lagged. And, and so it was a very reflective time to stay at home. And uh, my cat, it was so happy yeah. to see me. <laughs> And then I'm also, I, um, I'm, I made an intention about three years ago. I've always played guitar and, and, uh, been, been a musician, but with kids and work and all that, I never, so I've ded dedicated myself to that. And I started writing songs and I'm working on an LP now. So it's That's been a, a great journey with that. So creatively, uh, inwardly and, um, in all ways, I mean, it's very challenging as you know, obviously. You live through it too, but yeah. uh, that's the good things that have come out of it. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Great Love question. That. Thanks. Um, last but not least, Dr. Raleigh Duncan, where can people find you and if they want to learn more about Clear Lights on us? Sure. We're uh, www.infraredsauna.com. Very simple. And you can find me at uh, Raleigh, R-A-L-E-I-G-H, at infraredsauna.com. Awesome. Dr. Raleigh Duncan from Clear Light Sinus. Thanks for being on the show, man. Thank you, Joel. So much fun. Let's do it again. Anytime you're out in the Bay Area again, when you come back. Oh, uh, yeah. Give, give I'm going to come back give and me call. You. Yeah, we'll get together. <laughs> we'll show you our facility out here. That'd be uh, great. Be, that'd be great. Yeah. Thanks so much.